Remember the MiG-23 mishap that happened over Michigan a couple of months ago? I was wondering what had actually happened, and I did a quick Google search and I found the NTSB prelim report. So I just wanted to take a minute to take you through that report and get your thoughts and your opinions on what actually happened. So I'll make sure that this is linked in the description below. So if you want to read it yourself, you can just scroll down below and you can see it right there as well. So without going into all of the preamble about what's in this report, I'll just start here at this sentence here. The pilot reported that the flight departed from runway 23 at Yip, followed by a right turn to a banana pass, which is a low level knife edge pass along runway 23. Following the pass, he started banking the airplane and noticed that the engine afterburner did not ignite and the airspeed began to decrease. He brought the swing wings into the fully forward position, 16 degree sweep, to increase the lift and, begin, and began troubleshooting the problem. He was actively troubleshooting when the rear seat observer stated that they needed to eject. The pilot reported that he was not ready to eject and he was still troubleshooting the problem and maneuvering the airplane toward runway 27 at Yip when his ejection seat fired and he was out of the airplane. He stated that if either occupant pulls the ejection handles, both seats eject. The rear observer stated that the airplane made a pass along the runway and the plan was to go to the left for another pass followed by a landing. He stated that the engine was not accelerating. He and the pilot had a brief discussion and began to climb up and gain altitude. They determined that they had some type of engine problem and they needed to get back to the ground. He stated that they determined that they did not have sufficient altitude to make it to the runway at the airport. He said that they were compressed for time and needed to get out. When asked if he had pulled the ejection seat handles, he stated that he could not specifically remember, but he thinks he would have pulled them. Video evidence indicated that the airplane was in a left bank when the ejection seat fired. The airplane continued in the left bank and descended into the ground about one mile south of the approach end of runway 27 at Yip. The wreckage path was about 600 feet long on a heading of about 35. There was a post-impact explosion and fire at the fuselage section that contained the tail surfaces and the engine came to rest adjacent to an apartment building. The remainder of the airplane was fragmented and distributed along the wreckage path. There were no reported injuries on the ground. Now, it sounds to me like the back seater initiated that ejection, even though he claims he can't remember pulling the ejection handles and stated that he probably did pull them. So he, he could not specifically remember, but he thinks he would have pulled them. So if he did pull those handles, that bunched him out and then it punched the front seater out at the same time. Meanwhile, the front seater was trying to troubleshoot the problem and they were only a couple of miles to the south of the airport. So they probably could have made that approach, trade your airspeed for altitude, climb up, and you've probably got enough gliding distance to get back to the aerodrome. The pilot that was flying the plane was a super experienced aviator. He knew what he was doing and it seemed to me like the backseater took the easy option out and might have panicked. I don't know, that's me just injecting my opinion to it, but that's how I read what's actually going on here. So I wonder if the uh, observer took the easy way out here. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this developing story. I'm certain that once the NTSB put out their full report, we'll get to the very bottom of this. But for now, it sure looks like the backseater banged about and the pilot wasn't ready for that. What do you think?